is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, and as you guys are watching this video, uh, I am going to be in the middle of, of a very long car ride. I am going to be driving uh, 24 plus hours. I'm actually moving. I got my first real adult job, and I got to move all the way across the country. So this is going to be a crazy, crazy busy weekend um, where you know I'm going to be moving, driving, setting everything up. I don't know when I'm going to have internet next. I don't know when I'm going to be at my computer next. But so far, I've uploaded a video every single day in 2021, uh, and the show must go on. The content will still be there for you guys, but all my videos this weekend will most likely be pre-recorded. Um, so if any big stories, any crazy stuff happens this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, I will for sure make sure to cover it next week, but uh, uh, I just might not be as quick and fast and as up to date on everything this weekend as we usually are. But again, still be expecting videos every single day. Today, we are talking about this video that came up on my recommended from my good buddy LS, the man that you can always count on to have a good little take. You know, he probably says something really smart. He probably says something that everybody agrees with. This video is called LS Ranks Blabber to EU Jungler. So, you know, it's going to be spicy. You know, it's going to be fun. Uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video. I'd appreciate it a ton. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to stay up to date on my latest content. With that being said, here we go. Let's hear what Mr. LS, my good friend, my dear friend, has to say about Blabber uh, and EU Junglers. Really good anything in, in NA. I mean, you look at NA as like current best player, like relative to its role. Well, okay. Blabber is considered like the best jungler that NA has, but Blabber is not. I don't even think you'd. you'd... So, uh, first up, pretty interesting there. Uh, obviously, just him talking about um, best player in NA compared to their role, especially if you're just talking about North American players. You know, we can talk about imports and, and whatever's going on, but just as far as NA's best. Um, it is Blabber, you know, Blabber is, he's won two out of the last three MVPs, um, he is the best jungler, I think he's probably the only NA player that you would even say is the best in their role, um, I think you have an argument for Vulcan at support, um, I don't really think you can make a case for anyone in the top lane, Blabber in the jungle, obviously no North American mid laners, um, and then AD carry, uh, I don't really think so either, because I think you got FBI, Sven, you know, all those type of guys, so, um, Blabber, is one of the best players in the league, one of the best junglers, one of the best North American players now that, you know, like double it's gone and all that. Blabber is kind of the North American player. He is the guy that's kind of uh, backpacking uh, just uh, native players. Again, Vulcan is also very, very good right there with him, but Blabber has been a consistent MVP, consistently great. Uh, but I think where a lot of this criticism is coming from, from people right now who it kind of shitting on Blabber and stuff, it's just from MSI. Uh, he didn't have the greatest MSI in the world, even, even a bad MSI. And if he would have had a, a good tournament, uh, Cloud9 probably would have made it a little further they probably would have been more competitive and i just think that's really really interesting that people uh have started kind of shitting on him and, and why ls is even bringing this up in the first place saying that na doesn't have anything good um because that was blabber's first international tournament as a full-time starter he had played a single worlds game before i think maybe two worlds games something like that um and for his first international tournament to not be very good I don't think that's that crazy. I don't think that's that unusual. It's funny because at that very same tournament, um, what everyone says is, oh, the best Western player of all time, Perks, also had a very bad tournament. He was one of the worst mid laners uh, in that top six. And I don't know, of all like the major regions and stuff, he was one of the biggest underperforming players, um, especially of, uh, you know, being one of the highest, if not the highest paid player at that entire tournament for the performances that Perks put out. It was really bad. And if we just judge Perks on that one singular tournament, um, we would say that Perks sucks. You know, Blabber didn't get to go to MSI last year. Didn't go, didn't get to go to Worlds last year. Got to go to MSI this year. It wasn't great, but I think he did learn a ton. And I think giving Blabber a fair shake to actually bounce back. Um, we saw Mad Lions. They looked terrible at Worlds last year. Then they looked pretty damn good at MSI this year. Um, just one, you know, like half a year later, Blabber should be afforded that same opportunity to bounce back. Um, he's been great in North America for a couple of splits straight now. Um, I don't think one bad tournament should define him. Um, but, uh, you know, here comes Mr. LS with the hot takes, as always. Probably, I don't even, yeah, I mean, Bla I don't even think Blabber would be top five in, in EU. Right? You have Inspired? So, uh, I think it's I think it's hilarious. Um, there is going to be a lot of EU players that'll say, you know, Blabber shouldn't be top five. I, I think that's ridiculous. I think Blabber would absolutely be top five in Europe. Um, I, I think part of what LS is doing right now is he loves getting people, people fired up. He loves just 
talking. He loves just saying stuff. And he knows that EUNA is this crazy back and forth. And he knows if you can take one of a, you know, a great player in NA and compare him to EU, that's going to get people talking. That's going to get the EU fans going this way, the NA fans going this way. And LS is really a master of just creating controversy, creating spice, having hot takes for having the sake of hot takes. Um, and again, I don't agree with this. I think it's very, very short-sighted. I think it's very, very, um, you know, kind of reactionary to what happened at MSI, where we didn't even get to see most of the EU junglers. We got to see one. And El Yoya was very good at MSI, but I just think it's very funny. And it, I also love that LS is backing this claim up with almost nothing, because he goes then on to not even really be able to name five European junglers. Um, so let's check that out. Self-made, El Yoya. Um... We're, hold on, I'm blanking, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. So, uh, I just thought that was kind of funny, you know, Mr. Analyst, the the freaking League of Legends, whatever, savant, I don't know what you want to call it, the, you know, the guy who's just constantly shitting on people, whatever, uh, can think of three junglers in Europe, he, he hasn't even named Yankos, but Inspired, El Yoya, and Self Made, and I think there's a good case to be made for Inspired, you know, he was very good, again, without being able to win the LEC, without seeing him at MSI, I, it's a hard comparison to make, but but sure, if you wanted to say Inspired um, is better than Blabber, uh, I guess, um, the, a funny one to me is the third choice that he says there is self-made who uh again historically yes yeah, self-made's been very good and he's had better international performances than blabber has had recently but self-made is coming off a not very good split uh, in the lec a, a summer a spring split where he was seen as like a mid-tier jungler in the lec and is having a subpar performance in the lec better than having a subpar performance at MSI? Blabber was just the LCS MVP. He was just the best player in the LCS, the best player on the best team who made it to MSI and, and self-made gets rewarded for having a, a mess split in the middle of the LEC and not even qualifying for the international tournament? How would self-made and that Fnatic team have looked at MSI? Potentially much worse than Cloud9 look. You know, Cloud9 took some games off, or took a game off Damwon, took a game off RNG, um, and Blabber had moments of looking good. Yeah, he has the crazy flash plays, the scuttle ends, all that stuff, but again, Cloud9 as a whole had some good moments, but Perch wasn't playing well either. Mid jungle was really a mess for Cloud9. Um, so, you know, again, there's a case to be made. El Yoya looked better at MSI. I get that. Inspired looked great last split. I get that. Self made, I don't know. It's a little bit of a reach. Again, the case could be made. Self made's a very, very talented player, but. Not really coming off that great of a spring split. Yankos. Uh, I guess maybe he's... You know, who knows? Propose maybe even better now, honestly. Like, this is this is rough. It's rough times. Propose probably better. <laughs> like, like... And this is just absolutely crazy part to me. This is where LS absolutely loses it. Um, this is where he's just completely talking out of his ass. He said, he said Blabber wouldn't be a top five jungler and he can't even think of five junglers. So then he just has to kind of keep going with it. He's not, not going to say, you know, that he was wrong. He's going to compare Blabber to Whippo. Like, come on. First of all, is Whippo even the fifth best jungler in Europe? I don't know. We just heard Razor yesterday say that he thinks Treats is better than Whippo. And I think there's a lot of people saying that. Uh, there's a lot of those mid-tier junglers that you could make a case for. I mean, in the end, who really cares? If you're trying to make the argument that Blabber is worse than Whippo in the jungle, that's just absolutely ridiculous. You have lost me in that conversation. You have lost me in that argument. I, there's obviously a case to be made for Yankos. Inspired. El Yoya. I'll even give you self-made if you want. If you're trying to tell me that Blabber is in the tier of newly roll-swapped Whippo, Treats, Jungle, Razork, and those guys... That is just absolutely insane. That is absolutely crazy. And please do not claim to be an analyst after saying something like that, because I completely do not agree with that. First of all, we have seen a sample size of, I don't know when this clip was from, but two, three games from Blipo that have been okay. They haven't been all that great, but it's not like I watched those three games and was like, oh yeah, Blipo Jungle could come to the LCS and win MVP next split. That's not what I was thinking at all. And again, from his peers, people, there's, I'm not really even seeing anybody else rating Blipo as the fifth best jungler in the LEC. And like a lot of people said, it's probably too early to tell anyway. But again, LS, this is probably what he wants. He wants people to react. He wants people to get up in arms. He wants people to get mad. He wants the Whippo fans to come out and, and argue with NA. He wants the NA, the Blabber fans to come out and argue. Uh, and he's the master of doing this stuff. And I just thought it was hilarious. But uh, man, that is interesting to me that he's saying Blabber is in that discussion uh, in the Whippo treats Razor tier. 
uh, kind of funny, kind of, I don't know, I don't even know what the right word is, I was kind of speechless, but I just wanted to talk about it, because I know I'm sure this will be something you guys want to talk about as well, but that is pretty much it for this video today, guys, definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it, leave a comment down below, if Whip or uh, Blabber, not Blip, if Blabber was in EU, where would you guys rate him, where, 1 through 10, 1 through 11, whatever, where do you think he'd be, I guess if Whip was in the LCS, where would you rate him too, apparently he'd be the best player in the league already, um, absolutely hilarious stuff, uh, subscribe to Sim Day and all these guys, I hope I catch you guys the next one, but until then, peace!